What arcade collection needs to be on the Evercade? Me personally, I'd love to see Universal have their arcade collection. They do like Mr. Do, Mr. Do's Castle, Mr. Do's Wild Ride, stuff like that. But let me know in the comments. You type while I talk. Four new collections from Evercade that you need to look out for. I'm a big fan of the Evercade. It's a physical system that you get these cartridges and they always have multiple games on each cart. The Jellico Arcade Collection that has eight games on it. The Galico with six games. Morph Cat games with like three Nintendo homebrews. But there's a couple of other games on here too. And we'll get a look at all these games coming up. So full stuff over. Actually, the case won't even close. And the second in television collection with 12 games on it as well. These games not only come with a full color instruction manual, but also fun little add-ins like these arcade cards for the Jalco collection. Same with the Galico one. The cards for Morph Cat. And these tip cards for Tower of Doom and Cloudy Mountain for the Intellivision collection. It's a whole bunch of games to look through. We're going to look at footage for all the games on all of these cards. And as always, link in the description below if you need to grab any of them for yourself. Starting with the Jellico collection, we have the 64th Street Detective Story. Well, it's an arcade game that is your basic side-scrolling beat-em-up. Punch, kick, use items as your weapons. I love the fact that not only can you throw your opponents, but you can also throw them in the background and like, you know, destroy walls and destroy windows and stuff like that. That's always kind of cool. Definitely worth checking out. Avenging Spirit, this game is amazing. Maybe you saw this on the Game Boy. Well, you play as a spirit that can inhabit characters or other people as a host, and then you get to use them as your playable character, basically. And if you get sick of someone else, don't worry about it. You can always uh, jump in someone else's body and use them for a while. Cy Battler is a cyborg style shooter. <laughs> Vertical shooter on this one, you can control which way you want to shoot, but also slash enemies when they get close enough. A cool take on a vertical shooter on this one. EDF Earth Defense Force. And maybe you played this on the Super Nintendo. Now you can play the arcade version of the game right here on your Evercade. P47 is an arcade game I played a ton of in the arcade. Why well, say arcade? It was actually at the convenience store down the house I grew up in. Horizontal shooter, you play as this airplane, and I just can't explain it. I love this game. Rodland is an interesting one. Kind of that bubble bobble style single screen platformy, defeat the enemies and all that. You get to whip them around like Hulk did to Loki and pick up other items too that'll help you out. A little slower moving, still a fun game though. Saint Dragon is another shooter It's always fun checking out. Just love the vibe on this one. You can play as this dragon that's uh, shooting stuff. Gotta love that. You're probably familiar with Astyanax for the NES. Well, this is the Astyanax for the arcade and it's completely different. Definitely closer resembles like Legendary Axe for instance, but yeah, it's still super cool to see the arcade version of this one on this collection. Moving on to the Galico Arcade Collection, and this one has six games, including the Big Karnak. Uh, you know, a little, little Rastin style, little Rastin style. I'm always down for a little Rastin style. Maniac Square is kind of your match three on the way down, little puzzle style game here. Always fun to play. Squash is that game that you see the older dads play at gyms. It's actually kind of cool to see this as a video game, and it actually plays really well. It actually controls pretty neat. This is TH Strikes Back Thunder Hoops 2. He plays this awesome ninja looking guy. In a run and attack and shoot the other guys kind of game. I mean, you can tell just by looking at the footage of how the game plays. Super neat on this one, check it out. Touch and Go, well this is a volleyball game. I mean, I think. <laughs> of course it's a volleyball game. Uh, it's called Touch and Go. Interesting that they made it simplified by one button controls everything. Either the bump, set, spike, jump, it's all on controlled by one button. Makes it easy for anyone to pick up and play this one. World Rally 2 is a whole bunch of scooting around corners here. You're doing your initial D style drifting as you uh, take these corners and everything like that. Looks neat, plays pretty well. Fun to have an overhead racing game on something like this. Onto the Morph Cat Games Collection, yeah, the box only said three games, but you clearly see five, and we'll talk about them. I didn't mention it before, but I, had, I was doing the arcade games, so I had the scan lines. Uh, for these NES-looking games, I'll go ahead and take the scan lines off. You can do that with your Evercade Versus. The first one up is Bobble. How they achieved these water effects on an NES game is outstanding. And this game is actually a very fun kind of exploration game. Not really Metroidvania. Uh, but it has like this overly area that you have to explore as a bubble by dropping down and when you pop back up you can jump over things. Your bubble might pop along the way, no problem, you'll go back to your last checkpoint. You can get items as well that will make it so you can dive deeper and jump higher and stuff like that too. Very, very fun game. Micro Mages got a lot of press recently for how awesome it is and no reason why not. Four players simultaneous if you choose. You just gotta make your way up the platforms here. Shoot the boxes, get the items, shoot the enemies if you need. Very fun game on this one. Super fun for four player. I also have Micro Mages Second Quest. It's literally just Micro Mages again, but they revamped the levels. You know, the levels are different. So if you already went through Micro Mages and you're done with it, 
Got some new levels for you with this one. Space Goals is a pretty unique game here. Yeah, it's uh, it's seagulls in space. As <laughs> you kind of dive bomb the enemies from above and all that. Yeah, neat game. I'm glad they included this one. And this is Super Bat Puncher. It says demo because I don't think they ever finished this game. Uh, but Super Bat Puncher, in and of itself, this game here that you play on the Evercade, very fun. Very neat to see what they're going with and what they're going to do. You know, this one, to me, in my opinion, I know there were other homebrews before this, but this was like the, oh, you can do this as a homebrew? Just, you know, independently make new Nintendo games that look like, play like this? Absolutely. Kind of kickstarted that whole uh, revolution, I guess. I don't know. On to the Intellivision Collection Volume 2, starting off with Auto Racing. Well, it's a little hard to show you a whole lot of footage for this one because it is a two-player game and you have to play it as two players. But you get the idea of this, huh? Cloudy Mountain, gonna go on an adventure with Cloudy Mountain. Kind of interesting to see what they could do with a game like this on the Intellivision back in the day. I'm sure a lot of people kind of compare this to Legend of Zelda, or some kind of dungeon crawling game anyway. It's not really dungeon though, it's like forest crawling, I guess. <laughs> Hover Force? Hover Force is cool. You play as a helicopter and you have to shoot down, well, other helicopters and stuff like that too. And you can also take damage to buildings and bridges and stuff like that. Neat to see on here. Motocross is your motocross style game. Here's your track and away we go. Yeah, good old motocross on the uh, Intellivision here. Check it out. Mountain Madness Super Pro Skiing on this one. And I am not a pro skier by any stretch of the imagination and even less so <laughs> in video game form, but it is available. I'm sure you'll do better than me. Reversey, you know that game Othello? Yeah, it's like that. You probably played versions of this as little mini games or maybe you have it on your mobile. Uh, maybe you played a version of this on you know, other like, you know, board game collections and stuff like that. Yeah, it's one of those. Sharp Shot. Sharp Shot's interesting. It's four games in one and they all include just hitting the button to fire. So this first one is literally just making a touchdown pass. You don't have to move the controller at all. All you do is just hit the button and aim it at the guy to make that touchdown pass. This same game also includes uh, shooting the spacecraft right here, a little Star Wars style. There's a sea adventure where you're shooting the other boats, I guess, as well as this one where you're kind of shooting your arrows and it ricochets off things and kind of reminds me of that game that we just saw, that Cloudy Mountain game. Yeah, fun. Stadium Mud Buggies, from your local arena to your home. You got the uh, Mud Buggies here, here we go. <laughs> Star Strike, strike them before they shoot down Earth. Do better than me, how about that? Super Pro Decathlon. You gotta wiggle the controller as fast as you can, you know, the D-pad, to see if you can make it through. And I did not. Tower of Doom, this one looks like the one to play. Yeah, cool that they had something like this on the Intellivision. Would have loved to have played this growing up. You got your exploration, you got your battles here. Pick up items and stuff. Yeah, bring this back, huh? We have Vectron, and the box art alone makes it look super confusing. And when you play the game, oh, well, I'm sure there's a game in here somewhere, but it looks like a fever dream. I don't know, what do you think? Evercade always has cool things coming out later on, whether it be arcade collections or even more uh, like home console collections of sorts too. So keep an eye out on the Evercade. I hopefully you grabbed yours and uh, we'll see what other games are coming out in the near future. When they do, I always got videos for you.